we are talking about swapping your refrigerator from the RV fridge from the three-way fridge that operates on propane and or electric to a actual residential fridge this is true residential 110 you need to have an inverter supplied we'll talk about that in a little bit but I wanted to go over make this video it's going to be short and sweet um, it's super simple to take everything out now unfortunately I didn't get video of me taking that actual old fridge out what happens on that is there's a trim piece right at the top there's a couple screws on the top a couple screws on the bottom and that's all that's holding this refrigerator in taking the trim moldings out because it was raised up a little bit there was a little platform um, I had to make some space on the top here where you can see is actual um, I put this other trim up here um, for replacement with residential fridges they can be flushed in there you want to make sure that there's a little bit of air in between so like the top and bottom we still have some airflow um, that way it just keeps everything cool it keeps the keeps things running properly so when I thought about getting a residential fridge you have to measure the slide and if yours is in a slide you have to measure um, where the actual depth is how much um, depth you have how much space if your slide comes in so the little gap between um, usually it's those ones are flush to the actual counters here in the RV now we bought our refrigerator on Black Friday from Home Depot and the reason why we bought it from Home Depot is because they would come and actually bring the fridge inside the RV for me. All they had to do was take the front doors of the refrigerator off. The freezer door actually came out as well. So they took those off to fit the refrigerator sideways through the door. I already had the space prepped for them. So then all they had to do was push the refrigerator up into the slide. And so now let's go over how I actually took the propane line off and on the back side of the old fridge it's a three-way fridge there's propane line and there's a 12 volt line and there's an actual electrical 120 110 plug on the back so you just have to unplug those stuff take the trim moldings off sometimes there's a some screws that they put in sometimes it's staples um, for the trim pieces and that's really it since this one actually came with a nice maker what I did was I followed the same route as the propane line because the propane lines in the slide so I knew it wasn't gonna get pinched so I could actually I got like the braided water hose so that way that runs outside and we ran it all the way it was long enough to go to the wet bay and I got a piece of PEX and tied into our existing water line that has the constant water going to it and so I made a shut off valve that way I can shut the water off to the supply line to the ice maker if I need to now you have ice you we have ice in an ice maker and we don't have to have a countertop ice maker which frees up a whole lot of space as many of you know is sometimes you are limited on counter space so having a big ice maker somewhere is just not um, feasible so that helps alleviate that process I hope that this helps you out and if you wanted to do it yourself it is very simple to do if you're able to do it it's a great way to get more space in the fridge and freezer it helps us out tremendously because we're full-time so that way we just are able to store more stuff guys remember cherish the journey and to cherish those moments that you're in because you're not promised tomorrow so get out there make memories and We'll see you guys on the next one.